Hi guys, welcome. This is our weekly reading for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. Reading, it could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride. These energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding that wave, or ignoring the wave? It's always your choice in the end. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And be sure to check out the links I provide below. Show your love and support to the artists and musicians. And I find there's always further signs and symbols for the reading. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. So welcome. This is our weekly reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inquiring for September 30th through October 6th, 2016. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for Virgo. For the highest, greatest good of all, one card for focus, clarity, and understanding these waves and how to ride these energies best. All right, one card for Virgo. The High Priestess. I felt like that was going to come up. Okay, Virgo, the High Priestess. Um, understanding what's behind the veil. Understanding what is unseen what you can't explain. Um, I feel like there's wisdom with the high priestess. There's a direct path um, inside yourself to spirit with the high priestess. It's a feminine energy connected to spirit. It's the two, major arcana. Um, it's, um, I see like abundance with the pomegranate. It makes me think of spirit and it makes me think of like birds, um, your higher self, um, um, deep seated knowledge. I feel like she has wisdom in everything. I feel like it's wisdom in life, in living, in learning. Um, I feel like she has so much knowledge and so, um, deep and understanding of things that she has a hard time explaining everything she feels, hears, thinks, knows, connects to. Um, it's letting things unfold slowly as they should, opening up with things slowly as you should open up, um, holding on to knowledge, um, like a deep connection to spirit, to the moon, um, to truth. Um, I feel like others seek her out. I feel like there's a teacher student thing, but the high priestess helps you or someone else to seek their own truth, to just point the way inside of you, inside of others. So everybody can find their own truth and see behind the, the veil and have their own experience. Um, so I feel like she unfolds slowly. She finds that middle path through. She's fearless. I feel like she has faced her fears, that dark pillar and the light pillar, the beauty, the vibrancy of spirit, of truth. And she's found a way through in this ether, in this world to work both of these sides. She, so the veil is lifted for her. And in turn for others too, she helps lift this veil. But it's, it's like layers. I feel like this veil 
has layers behind it. Um, there's like layers upon layers upon layers. Once you lift one layer, there's still another layer to go, another layer after that. All right, so let's go to the Earth Magic Oracle Cards and get another card for the High Priestess for Virgo. Number two, the Meadow vulnerability. So understanding lessons, understanding um, compassion, understanding being hurt. You know, I feel like there's um, a bit of the high priestess that's been completely misunderstood throughout time, throughout our lives, you know, right into the now. And because it's hard to understand her. Um, so there is a vulnerability here. You know, there's an exposure here. There's um, being exposed here, exposing your heart a little bit here, opening up your soul a little bit here so that there's a connection between you and others. Um, this high priestess and the world. Um, feel like that's where the connection of the high priestess comes. The feminine energy is a, um, it's power in vulnerability, you know, and being human. So perhaps there's a sweetness in this, um, opening up in this wisdom of this teaching for Virgo. I feel like there's an open meadow here. There's just essence and life and growth and birth and creation. You know, it's like you can see the landscape before you. Everything is just sort of soft. I feel like the wind is blowing gently this week, Virgo. I'm gonna move to the Art of Life Tarot. And another card for Virgo on the meadow, vulnerability, um, soft expression, the high priestess, allowing something to unfold, allowing something to happen, allowing things to be, um, allowing your lessons to unfold, allowing yourself to unfold, Virgo. The Nine of Wands. Um, I almost mentioned Joan of Arc. And now I feel like I should have. In times of stress, be bold and valiant, Horace. Woman in Red in the Forest, detail by Henry Verdau, 1907, private collection. I feel like this vulnerability comes from being hurt. And I feel like in the past, you know, someone who was connected to spirit deeply was also a warrior, you know, someone like Joan of Arc, you know who had to stand up for herself, himself, what she or he believed in deeply, what, what they saw, what they understood that it was really hard to explain, but yet those miracles still happened. They still um, believed everything, knew that it was true, knew deep in their soul that what they were receiving from spirit, that connection to spirit, to what was happen happening, that bigger purpose and destiny was real and with reason. So the Nine of Wands tells you to be bold. It tells you to stand up for yourself. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, Virgo, even though you feel like you're tired and you probably want to stop and take a rest, you know, take a nap. Um, this is telling you to just continue forward, you know, be vigilant, do what you have to do, get it done because the nine is completion. It's completion of your soul, completion of your spirit, completion um, towards something that moves you in the right direction, you know, maybe in this soft meadow instead of this harsh jungle. So it's almost like you're almost out of the jungle and you can see your way to this meadow, you know, perhaps you can't actually see it yet, but you can see it. All right, Virgo, let's get one more card for the week. How about Virgo? Get 
don't be afraid to be vulnerable, to show your soft side, Virgo, even if you're a warrior. The page of water. It's dreaming about love. That's definitely showing your soft side. This is being intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. It's like when the high priestess is a child, you know, and dreaming about this big, beautiful future, feeling it in his or her soul, knowing this meadow is coming, this oasis is coming. My cards are flying all over the place. Um, it could also be a water sign. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy in your chart, in your environment, um, a younger energy around you, someone um, younger than you, but like um, refreshing and new, or makes you feel refreshing and new, like a new start. You know, like all of that effort you put into something is totally worth it. This is a new person entering into your life, Virgo, or a relationship that's starting new. You know, this is bringing you completion. This is something I feel like you have known is coming. A relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. You're gonna feel something really deep in your soul. You're gonna know something is true. You're gonna know something is for you. You're gonna know something is right. And you're gonna feel good that you were bold in times of stress and that, you know, you came out better because of everything you went through, Virgo. Um, I feel like there's music here and it's like a vibration. It makes you want to sing. It makes you want to dance. It makes you want to move. It makes you want to like, like I see like an orchestra, <laughs> you know, like join an orchestra, have different vibrational energies around you that make magic. I hope this was helpful, Virgo. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.